They are cloned or copycat websites claiming to sell health products to stop the spread of COVID-19. But the Federal Trade Commission says so many of these are fakes. In fact, there are so many fakes that the FTC says online shopping scams is now one of the top three complaints. Just because of the demand for PPE and things like hand sanitizer, we have a lot of people who are putting up websites um, purporting to offer those products. The director of the FTC in the Midwest region, Todd Casso, is warning of fake websites that look so real. They're preying on the need for masks, sanitizer, and other items. You could click and never get your product. The Better Business Bureau is also reporting that 90% of scams in April were related to COVID-19 or fake online websites. I mean, it's really easy for somebody to set up a website and purport to be a legitimate online merchant, and consumers should should do their homework um, before they purchase something. You should make sure the website has an S at the end of the HTTP to make sure it's secure. Look for specific contact information on the website and try calling the company. Make sure you're on the proper site. You can also conduct reverse image searches on websites like Google, which may show the same images on different websites. That's a warning. With these websites, you're not getting your money back and you're not getting the product very often. Leo Friedman runs iPromo.com, a personal protective equipment online seller in Chicago's West Loop. He provided the iTeam with this video, he says, of a company that cloned some of his website pictures and made their site like his. Someone could be scamming other people using your images. And they basically ripped off the whole website, all our images, all our text word for word, but they forgot to change some of the links on the website. I called an 800 phone number, which was on the website, and left a voicemail. I wanted to call and reach out to see if you had a comment. Friedman says when he called, someone who answered agreed to take his images off the site. The entire website is now down. He also showed us a report he filed with the FTC. That could help authorities if the same people are cloning other business sites, but catching them isn't easy. The operators are likely offshore, um, you know, which makes it harder for law enforcement to track them down. In the first three months of this year, the cybersecurity firm Bolster documented a massive spike, detecting almost 855,000 counterfeit websites and phishing scams, 30% of which were COVID-19 related. Besides the fear of not getting products, there's also a concern about the quality of PPE purchased for workers on the front lines. Magid Glove and Safety in Romeoville is first testing sample masks before distribution. We had one example where we tested it and it was almost no different than wearing a bandana on your face. And that one company was ready to sell us 300,000 masks that day. If you are shopping for essential items and the prices look way too low, this could be a sign that you are on a fake copycat website. If you've been the victim, you can report this to your credit card, say it is a fraudulent transaction, also report this to the FTC. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.